What if one AI model could beat the smartest ones out there by nearly doubling their scores on the toughest logic exams? Grok 4, launched by Elon Musk's XAI, scored 15.9% on ARC AGI, almost twice as high as its closest rival. Let's break down what makes this model such a big deal and why everyone's talking about it. What exactly is Grok 4? Grok 4 is an AI chatbot, kind of like ChatGPT or Google Gemini. But XAI says this one is smarter, faster, and more capable than anything else available today. How was Grok 4 built? Most AI models are trained using huge amounts of text and data. But Grok 4 took a different route. Instead of just feeding it tons of data and calling it a day, the team at XAI used something called reinforcement learning at a massive scale. Basically, the model didn't just learn from examples, it was taught how to learn better as it went along. Even more interesting, XAI spent equal computing power on both training and reinforcement learning. That's very rare. Most companies focus mainly on the first part and don't invest much in the second. And the computer they use to train it? It's called Colossus, and it has 200,000 GPUs. Yeah, that's not a typo. It was built in just 122 days and made it possible to process way more information than ever before. Here's something unique. Grok 4 doesn't always work alone. There's a special version called Grok 4 Heavy, and it uses multiple agents to solve a problem. That means it creates a bunch of mini AIs, anywhere from four to 32 of them, and they all work together, each trying their own solution. After that, they compare answers and choose the best one. Sounds smart, right? Think of it like a group of experts each trying to solve a puzzle, then agreeing on the best answer. This approach helps it perform better on really complex questions, especially in things like science, logic puzzles, or anything that needs deep reasoning. Ever wished your AI assistant could double check itself? That's kind of what this system is doing. How smart is Grok 4? Now let's talk performance. On one of the hardest AI exams called Humanity's Last Exam, Grok 4 scored 25.4% without tools and 41% with tools. But Grok 4 Heavy? It hit 44.4%, which is the highest score seen so far. That beats both Gemini 2.5 and GPT 4.0. There's another tricky test called ARCAGI, made to measure deep reasoning skills. Most AI models struggle here, but Grok 4 scored 15.9%, which is nearly double what others managed. Again, it leads the pack. And if science, technology, or math is your thing, this model really shines in those areas too. Pretty impressive, right? Grok 4 isn't just smart in exams. It also performs well in simulations that mimic real business decisions. In one test, it ran a virtual vending machine business and made a profit of $4,694 while selling over 4,500 units. That's more than double what its nearest competitor achieved. It also has solid coding skills. Whether it's writing programs, fixing bugs, or helping with app development, Grok 4 holds its own. But guys, if you've tried other coding AIs before, how do they compare? Let us know in the comments. Let's talk about the pricing of this AI because Grok 4 isn't free. There are two subscription plans depending on how much power is needed. The basic one, called Super Grok, costs $30 a month or $300 a year. It gives access to the main Grok 4 model, along with text and voice features, plus a 128,000 token limit. For those who want the full experience, there's Super Grok Heavy. It's priced at $300 a month or $3,000 a year, and it unlocks the multi-agent system, early access to new tools, and dedicated support. For developers, there's also API access. The pricing works like this. $3 for every 1 million input tokens, $15 for every 1 million output tokens, and just 75 cents if those input tokens are already cached. The API version also supports up to 256,000 tokens per session, which is handy for long chats or working with large documents. Still, with prices like that, it's clear this model is geared more towards serious users and businesses than casual use. What can it actually do? Grok 4 doesn't just read text, it can also work with images and voice. There's even a new British accented voice assistant named Eve. 
Though it can see, its visual skills are still catching up. Users have said it sometimes messes up image-based tasks or gives wrong info from charts. Also, the Grok 4 is pretty wild. Grok 4 is connected directly to X, so it can pull in real-time data, trends, and updates. That makes it super useful for staying current on the latest news. It also knows how to use tools like code interpreters, web search, and even system commands. It can figure out what it needs to look up and do it by itself. This helps when answering tricky questions or when more research is needed. No tech is perfect, and Grok 4 has had its share of drama. Some people have noticed that Grok 4 seems to lean toward Elon Musk's personal opinions, especially when asked about sensitive or political topics. In fact, when asked certain questions, it even says it's reviewing Musk's past posts. That's unusual, to say the least. Before Grok 4, Grok 3 caused major backlash when it said some pretty awful things, like calling itself Mecha Hitler. XAI had to act fast to shut it down and fix the issue. Grok 4 has safety upgrades, but some users are still cautious. No AI is perfect, and Grok 4 has its weak spots. Its vision abilities still need work. Users say it often misreads charts or gives unclear answers from images. The public version only supports 128,000 tokens of memory, while competitors like Gemini go up to 1 million. So, context is still limited. When it comes to creativity, Grok 4 tends to sound bland. It struggles with storytelling and often repeats common phrases. And while it can code, it's not flawless. Sometimes it fixes one bug, but creates another. Anyone else had that happen before? Big updates are on the way for Grok 4. In August, a programming-focused version is coming, followed by a full multimodal agent in September and video generation in October. Future plans also include Google Drive access and memory that remembers past chats. So yeah, there's more coming soon. Let's hear what other famous personalities think about Grok 4. Sundar Pichai, CEO of Google, tweeted, Congrats on the launch. Impressive progress showing respect for the achievement even from a direct rival. Tim Sweeney, CEO of Epic Games, called it a major leap, saying, Grok 4 feels like artificial general intelligence to me. Aravind Srinivas, CEO of Perplexity, praised the model's performance. Grok 4 benchmarks look incredible. Looking forward to integrating it with Perplexity Max. AI researcher Jimmy Apples focused on test results, tweeting, Grok 4, still no wall. 50.7% with Grok 4 heavy on humanity's last exam. Is Grok 4 worth it? Grok 4 excels at logic, math, and research. Great for pros and devs needing serious problem-solving power. Its multi-agent system is a standout, but it's still catching up in creative and visual tasks. Pricey, yes, but worth it for the right use case. A big leap forward, though, maybe not the final one. Is Grok 4 the future of AI or just another step along the way? Drop a comment below and let's talk about it. And if this was helpful, make sure to like and share. It really helps others learn about new tech like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.